wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best UV testers. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, the StressMarket.com UV84 is a basic credit card sized item that doesn't require batteries or have you press any buttons. You simply leave it in the sun for a few seconds and the strip will change from white to varying shades of purple to indicate intensity. It recommends SPF levels and works great as a public education handout. However, it doesn't provide quantitative data. At number 9, while many models display light intensity in milliwatts per square centimeter, the Santa Carey IU2 translates those measurements into a unit called the ultraviolet index, which lets you know how quickly you'll burn. It measures both UVA and B rays. It has a range of 240 to 370 nanometers and is relatively affordable, but it is a little simplistic. Coming in at number 8 in our list. The Sunknown Portable is ideal for taking to the beach so you can check your exposure levels and ensure you're using the right SPF. Its durable housing enables it to stand up to some bumps along the way. It fits comfortably in the hand and is compact for convenient storage. It includes a lanyard hole to prevent loss. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for UV testers or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, the Hilitand UV340B boasts a sampling time of just half a second. It's got a 4-digit LCD and can display measurements in three different ranges between 0 to 40 milliwatts per square centimeter, depending on radiation strength. It includes a separate sensor and a peak value hold function, but it doesn't measure ultraviolet C rays. Moving up our list to number 6, the Xtech UV505 is a pocket-sized option with a 290 to 390 nanometer wavelength range, a cosine corrected sensor, a zero function and a data hold feature ensure you get reliable results and are able to read them easily. It powers off automatically to conserve its battery and the housing feels durable. It comes with a nylon belt holster. Halfway up our list at number 5. The Solar Meter Model 8.0 measures UVC rays only, which means it captures wavelengths from 246 to 262 nanometers. It is a bit pricey considering its limited use, but if you're monitoring germicidal lamps or testing eyewear, it's a must-have. It's manufactured in the USA, and you can operate it with one hand. It includes an NIST certificate. At number 4, the Amtast UVA365 can take up to 2 samples per second. If you're trying to check wavelengths outside of its capabilities, it will provide you with an over-limit indicator too. It offers 4 selectable ranges, a freeze reading function and a built-in kickstand. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, the Solar Meter Model 6.5 is made in the United States and comes with an NIST traceable calibration certificate so you can rest assured its accuracy is reliable. It's designed to measure wavelengths between 280 and 400 nanometers. It's powered by a 9-volt battery and ideal for use in reptile cages. It includes a carrying case. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for UV testers or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, the Spur Scientific 85009 is suitable for both indoor and outdoor use. It's sensitive enough to pick up low output from lamps in museums and art galleries and can also be used to check hospital sterilization lights. It can store up to 20 data points and comes with a corded probe and a foam lined case. And taking the top spot on our list, the General Tools UV513AB is a lab quality model that comes in at a reasonable price. It allows you to set the units to milliwatts or microwatts per square centimeter and features a four digit display that shows both the high and low readings of any given measurement. It can be used to check LED emissions and provides results quickly. It's equipped with a magnet for mounting on metals. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for UV testers 
or simply click beneath this video.